Johnny and Dolly. The team is supported by ableauctions.ca. Closing your business? We can help. And King of Floors, your vinyl, laminate, and engineered flooring superstore. Uh, Wednesday and as always on a Wednesday our guests are sponsored by the O's marketing team at Royal LePage they will find your next home in Nanaimo, Nanus Bay, Parksville and Colican Beach so 2016 I want to say yep um, well probably it would have been long before that yep. I'm at Fortius which is no longer there a anymore in Burnaby I'm getting some uh, rehab done or going through some rehab I got a, I a knee problem as, as you know and getting uh, some work done next to me is a kid from Langley, introduces himself, nicest kid in the world, it was Kyle Burles, getting work uh, done uh, on him at, at Fortius. And I just thought to myself, man, I hope that guy does well. And look at here. NHL. Uh, parts of seven seasons in the American Hockey League after yep. being drafted by the Islanders, gets traded to Colorado. And on, uh, Good on April 5th, Kyle makes his NHL debut. He's played three games since. Uh, Kyle, uh, thanks for doing this, sir. How are you? I'm good, good, good to hear from you guys. It's funny that you remember that. that uh, I was going to say uh, that was a, a funny day. <laughs> no, it, it it was, and and you, you could you couldn't have been nicer. And I've been pulling for you since then, uh, Kyle. Before we get into your career, maybe you give us a, an update. Um, abs in St. Louis uh, tonight. We understand the morning skate was for the Abs was canceled. Uh, uh, reports of a positive test. Can can you tell us? I'm putting you on the spot here, but can you tell us anything about that? Um, no, I honestly don't know too much myself, just that uh, morning skate was cancelled. Um, they're kind of going through it. They got the trainers and doctors involved and stuff like that. And kind of like in Anaheim, we had one in uh, kind of a similar day. The day kind of drags on and you got to do what you kind of do to stay ready. But uh, yeah, not a lot of information that goes gets passed through on days like this. It's more just kind of worry about yourself and if, you know, the medical team kind of talks to you, then, you know, you go from there. But if not, uh, yeah, it's, it's, but it's definitely weird. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Um, and, but as far as you know, there will be a game tonight. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think everyone's preparing as such. And, uh, yeah. Okay, Kyle. Um, April 5th, your long awaited NHL debut uh, against the Wild. You end up fighting Nick Bugstad. Just what was that day like uh, for you after all that time in the American Hockey League? Um, you know, initially going into the day, it was just kind of like any other, um, I honestly had did no idea that I was playing. I was probably at the rink for an hour before, um, I even looked at the board and then, you know, we were just sitting around talking with some of the guys and, um, yeah, they're like, Oh, I think you're, you're playing. And I, and I was like, Oh really? And I went, walked over and I seen, and you know, after that it was kind of like, okay, well, I sent a message to my dad, sent a message to my girlfriend, my brother, and kind of went from there. And then. You know, I tried to play it cool the whole morning skate and, you know, I, all that stuff. And then, uh, you know, I, I was all pretty chill until uh, after the meeting. I forgot that we had video back at the hotel. And uh, I looked at the, my watch and the one bus was leaving and that was the one that I had to catch before uh, before the before the video meeting. So I kind of like hurried up and was running down the hallway uh getting putting, thrown on my jacket and <laughs> putting my belt on and stuff down the hallway as I was trying to catch the bus. So that was a little stressful. But, uh, yeah, after that, you know, I just kind of got into the routine and, you know, everything else about the day was, it was obviously special. And, uh, you know, after the first few shifts there, I was just, you know, trying to settle in and play hockey. And, um, yeah, it was, it, it was a, a night to remember for sure. You mentioned your dad and your, your, your girlfriend. You you make it to the NHL. Who, who did you hear from that day, and who did you think of? Um, I mean, I heard from a lot of people, a lot of people from that I've, you know, uh, coaches, you know, teammates, friends, you know, a lot of, like, Langley, um, minor people mm -hmm. like that that I, you know, played with growing up and, you know, all through that and, um, you know, I, you can know, all, the only thing you can really do is just think about those people and all how they kind of impacted you to, uh, get to that point. You know, they've kind of been by your side through, um, you know, the grind of the, to get there. And, you know, it's just as big of a day for, for them as it was for me. And, you know, I really felt that. And, uh, yeah, and it was, yeah, like I said, it was just super exciting. 
Kyle, 339 games in the American League. Uh, that's a grind. Uh, tell us mentally um, how was that? I mean, everyone's goal is the National Hockey League. You were drafted. You were great in minor hockey. And everybody wants success real fast. They want it today. And here you are taking this uh, long route, working hard, never giving up. Talk about the mental aspect of just staying in the game and being positive and saying, I'm, I'm still going to get there. Yeah, I think, you know, when you're going through it, I think, you know, you, you you list off that that many games and I'm kind of like, holy crap. But, uh, no, it's just taking it day by day, really. Just, you know, I know that Rome wasn't built in a day and, you know, with a lot of the time, it, it, you got to be patient and, you know, opportunities come and go. But when, you know, when the opportunity comes, you just kind of got to run with it. And I think that was kind of the biggest thing was just, you know, staying positive and, you know, like, the, like you said, those people that, you know, supported you growing up, they're always, they were always in my corner and, you know, saying good things and, um, you know, it's just, just help me stay focused and, uh, you know, obviously work your way in and, um, get to that point. And, you know, it's been, it's been a, a wild long ride, but it's, I wouldn't change it for anything in the world. It's been a lot of fun and I've met a lot of great people on the way and yeah, I can't say enough about it. Twice in Bridgeport nominee for the American Hockey League, uh, humanitarian award. That's leadership, positive impact in the community. That's, uh, pretty impressive uh how how nice was that to get nominated for that yeah no that, that's one thing that i've always taken pride in and to be recognized like that by the team was um was awesome you know it was one of the things that I'll, i hold dear to my uh my resume and um you know it's it's something that i love to do and um yeah it's just it was just those two years were were great and you know and doesn't change the fact that just the good work that Bridgeport does down there. I can't say enough about that. They're really involved in the community. And, you know, I guess everywhere I've really played, you know, has, has been awesome. So with, with with how they do that stuff. But, yeah, it's been great. We're talking, with Kyle, great. we're talking with Kyle Burrows from Langley of the Colorado Avalanche. Let's get back uh, to your growing up in Vancouver, in the Vancouver area, Kyle. Uh, what was your minor hockey experience uh, like? And parents want to know this. A lot of parents out there with kids who are very good uh, young hockey players, what approach did your dad take when he knew he had uh, maybe something special on his hands? Mom and dad. Uh, yeah, the, both of them, uh, they were nothing but supportive. You know, if, I think if you ask them, I don't think they that I've ever played a bad game in my life, you know, so, you know, the one, that's the one thing that they're always where they're always really supportive. And, um, you know, before every game still to this day, when I get my dad a phone call, he still does go out there and have fun. So, um, yeah, it was just a lot of support, um, from them and, you know, from everyone, even, you know, my sister and my brother, they were, they were great. And, you know, we, I tried to be as supportive as I could to my brother when, uh, when he was playing too, but, um, yeah, it was just, it's just a lot of support and, uh, yeah, I, I can't really say enough about uh, how they are now is still how they were to this day or when I was growing up. Was it hockey 12 months a year, Kyle? Or did you play other sports? Uh, no, I was a lot of uh, soccer um, in the summer. You know, you, we when I was a little bit older, we started playing uh, uh, spring hockey and stuff yeah. like that with uh, the Vancouver Selects. But it was a lot of like the summertime sports. You know, we'd, we'd do the one training camp in late, late August with Tim Preston and um, and then, then we switch back into hockey mode, but yeah, we like to, uh, take some time off and play other sports and do other stuff with uh, friends and, um, all that stuff. So yeah, it wasn't all hockey all the time, which was, which was nice. I think, you know, looking back on it. Yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, Devon Tays, I noticed on the Colorado roster and he's been on our show before when we were on the, just on the, on the radio, but Devon Tays also from the Vancouver area is a part of the Colorado roster. Uh, both of you uh, with the Islanders previously, um, how, how well do you know Devon, and if so, how special is it to have him uh, have him on that roster? Uh, yeah, I know Devon really well. Actually, we he was a part of that uh, Vancouver Selects organization, though he was a year older. But you know, we meshed with them, and uh, growing up, we uh, we would play against each other through minor hockey when he was with Abbotsford, and then kind of when he was with either he was going into Quinnipiac or he was with the Eagles at uh, Surrey Eagles at the time. We mm-hmm. started working out together with uh, Tim Preston. And um, so it was probably when we were about 15 to, or no, maybe 16 to 17 around that age when we started working out together. And then I got drafted by the Islanders. And then the previous year, or the following year, he got uh, drafted by them. And then we've just been kind of going through this whole journey together through that point. And, you know, when uh, I got traded, the, he was all, texting me that day happy for me uh, with the opportunity and stuff like that and then the next day he got traded and it was just kind of surreal and 
being here and for him to be on the ice for my first game um, was just kind of, you know, it was a level of comfort for me that uh, it was it was just easy to be out there, you know. Can you put into words what it's like to play with Nathan McKinnon? Uh, it's, it's fun to watch. That's the one thing. He's a special player and, you know, every aspect, how he approaches the game and uh, he's a true pro. What what have you noticed about the NHL game, Kyle? What, what sticks out versus the AHL uh, versus junior, everything? I think just the speed. I think you can see how good guys can uh, make plays at high speeds and the skill that really comes out with, with guys when they're like that. I think that's just – it's just outstanding to see guys and, you know, the talents that they have. And, um, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's really been a treat just kind of watching. What do you think this team is capable of, Kyle? I mean, it's one thing to get traded. You're getting traded to a – and not that the Islanders were all, all that bad, but you're getting uh, traded to a Stanley Cup contender. What yeah, you know, you, you can see it, you can see it even in uh, in practice. Like you can just see how how guys work and just the dedication to want to be successful and just I think that they can eat on the once you're in the room, uh, the guys know that this is a special team and um, you know the belief in in the dressing room is that uh, that the Stanley Cup is is within their reach and um, you know that's just something special. I think you can you have that on any good team, um, you know whatever sport you play in, you know there's something special and you can just feel it. Uh, around the around the rink, <clears throat> Kyle. Uh, it's good to see you recover from whatever was bothering you that day at uh, <laughs> at, at Fortius. But uh, great story, and we're pulling for you here. Thanks so much, Kyle. Really, really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. Thanks for having me, guys. Appreciate it. You bet.